Some people would argue that good audio is even better than good video. And shotgun mics like this one can cost upwards of $300. For that reason, lavalier mics have been the number one choice for budget filmmakers. But even those can get kind of expensive sometimes. So I went ahead and did you guys a favor. I picked myself up a couple of these. These are Purple Panda lavalier microphones. They're super cheap on Amazon. Right now they're about $39.99. I've heard they were going as low as 20 bucks a couple of years ago, so they might go back down. Let's find out what you get in the box. It all comes in this little black pouch. Kind of nice for carrying around. We have the actual microphone itself, which comes on a little clip that can be taken off. A miniature dead cat, nine foot extension cord, and a couple of adapters. And I've heard a lot of good things about these guys. So I'm gonna cut right to the chase and do a few quick tests. Right now I'm recording on my Rode VideoMic Pro. It's an on-camera microphone that's really good. I use it for most of my videos. I'm gonna be taking that off and doing two passes per test. I'm gonna do the first test with a virtually ideal environment, the second test with a fan going on in the background, and the third test outdoors. So let's get into it. Here's a baseline test with just normal camera audio coming right out of the camera. No mics, no nothing. Probably sounds terrible. I'm now speaking with the Purple Panda lavalier microphone. There is an AC unit going on in the background and I am speaking a little bit quieter because as you can see, if I start to get too loud, the audio levels clip. So you can't really yell and you have to talk at a decently quiet volume, but otherwise, not bad. I can't hear what it sounds like I'm going to check in editing, but from the audio levels on my monitor right now, it's looking pretty good. So this is just audio straight out of the camera. Sony especially, but just any video camera, honestly, their audio, their built-in camera audio, it's a stereo microphone, is notoriously bad, especially in environments where there's a fan going. Um, so you, you really got to have an external microphone or something plugged into the camera in that case scenario. I'm using the Purple Panda Lav now. Um, fans going on. In, fans still going on in the background. Got the Purple Panda Lav. Looks like from the audio levels, it's doing okay, not terrible. I'm gonna keep talking for a minute just so you guys can kind of get a better picture. But this is a genuine scenario that happens all the time. I remember I was shooting in a restaurant once and there was a fan that was on and a refrigerator unit that was making noise that we could not shut off. So good audio is a lifesaver in that scenario. So I'm outside now. This is just a basic audio test for the camera, camera audio, outside, some wind in the background, maybe some cars like that one. Audio outdoors using just the normal camera microphone is a terrible choice no matter what the case is. So I'm very excited to see what the Purple Panda does for this one. So this is a test with the Purple Panda on my chest right now, under my shirt. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot better, um, but time will tell. Uh, lavalier microphones are very good in this case because if you set the audio levels down low enough, it doesn't pick up as much ambient sound um, like a stereo microphone would, like a normal on-camera stereo microphone would. So with that being said, a little bit more testing. There's a car coming right now, so that's gonna be good. Seeing if we can even pick it up, probably not. But my audio should be, at the very least, a lot cleaner than the last one was. And with that being said, I think this is pretty good for a test. Um, I'm going to probably go back inside now because it is cold. It's very cold. Actually, it's ridiculously cold, so. It is cold as outside. But there you have it guys. I'm going to end it with the purple panda audio. Um, one more thing I want to talk about. Definitely make sure on your camera to put your record levels, your audio levels on one or two when working with this thing. If you put it too high, it's going to start being super sensitive and picking things up in the background. Right now I have it on two, so you can pick and choose with that. Play to your own tastes, your own environments. But aside from that, I'm really liking this thing. I think I'm going to start using it a lot more. Actually, one more thing, guys. The Purple Panda, I do like it. It is a little more muffled than I would have liked. Definitely, definitely better than in-camera audio, which is what you're hearing now. Um, but I would more recommend the Rode VideoMic Pro for people who have the money and have a little bit more experience. That being said, the Purple Panda is a very good alternative. All right, and back to it. Let me know in the comments below if there's a cheaper lav mic that's on par or better than this one. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.